Greetings and salutations. I'm Madison and today we are going to be talking about winter outfits. This year I would say my style has developed and my wardrobe has changed. I've found quite a few new pieces and I've gotten rid of quite a few old pieces that just no longer fit what I want and how I want to dress. I've really been experimenting, looking and trying to find the ideal inspirations and pieces that make me happy. So I'm very excited with how these outfits turned out and I would say for the first time in a long time I genuinely feel like these outfits represent my style. Two new pieces that found their way into my wardrobe recently are from the shoe company Vivea. Vivea is an eco-friendly footwear and apparel company dedicated to both style and sustainability. All of their products are made with recycled materials and some of their items like their flat shoes are even machine washable. They kindly sent me two pairs of shoes that I personally picked out. First we have the Aria Flat in the color Ruby Red. Normally I am not a big fan of flat shoes, I prefer heels, however these are quite stylish as well as comfortable and the pointed toe gives them a little bit more of a flattering shape than your average round toe flat. The second pair I picked out were these black Naomi boots. Because they are made of fabric, they conform to the shape of your foot, giving you a soft and comfortable fit. These boots are so comfortable to walk and stand in, and really they're just the perfect basic black boot. They can fit with pretty much any personal style or aesthetic. All in all, I was extremely pleased with these shoes, and I know I will be getting a lot of wear out of them. If you are interested in checking out Vivea, I have a link down in the description box below, along with a discount code. Now let's take a look at the rest of my winter essentials. First we have one of my favorite knit dresses. I bought this ages ago from Forever 21. I kind of wish I had purchased it in more color combinations because I wear this dress all the time throughout the winter. The color bands on the sleeves and neckline make it a versatile piece. You can style it with so many different color combinations. Today I decided to pair this dress with a Navajo blanket inspired scarf, some brutalist earrings from the 1980s, some classic bronze bangles, and a vintage belt from the 1930s. And of course, on the feet, we have the classic Aria flats. Outfit number two encapsulates my undying enjoyment of pairing the color black with the color red. It is just such a chic and classic color combination that always seems to work. Today I paired this thrifted black and red blazer with a black turtleneck and my favorite black trousers from Talbot's. For accessories I have a thrifted beret, a handbag from Forever 21, and several pieces of vintage jewelry. This was another look that went perfectly with the red flats. This is also the day I realized that the front pockets of my blazer are in fact fake and not real. 
Also, as just a side note, the base of this outfit, the black turtleneck and black trousers, are a fantastic basic outfit to have that can really be paired with anything. This is an alternative way to style this look and the shoes, the bright red shoes, just add this perfect pop of color to a neutral or basic outfit. For outfit number three, we have a basic black dress with a thrifted black velvet and cord blazer over top. All of the accessories are vintage or thrifted. I decided to pair this outfit with a fur collar, leather gloves, a cord handbag, silver earrings, and then a bright white and silver brooch. I'm not sure who the bigger star is in this outfit, the beautifully detailed blazer or this absolutely fabulous brooch that was actually kindly sent to me by a subscriber. To complete my 1940s, 1950s skater girl look, I paired this outfit with the black Naomi boots, which I think fit perfectly and just added this extra special touch to the outfit. Outfit number four features a bright blue plaid skirt with a plain black velvet blazer and a blue sweater underneath. Plaid skirts are one of my favorite things to wear, especially during winter. However, they can look a little schoolgirl-esque, so to avoid looking like a schoolgirl's uniform, I like to pair plaid skirts with an opposite, like extra sharp high heels or bold jewelry that is not typically worn by a schoolgirl. This usually matures the look a little bit and gives it a more styled appearance rather than a uniform appearance. For shoes, I'm wearing the same Naomi boots. However, to change it up a little bit, I added these silver fur cuffs that I purchased from Amazon. This outfit is one of my favorites out of the whole video. It's strong, it's classic businesswoman chic, while still retaining feminine elegance. Both the pops of purple and this black duster are two of my favorite elements in my wardrobe, and I've been experimenting quite a bit with them. This whole look is heavily inspired by old Hollywood, specifically actresses like Marlena Dietrich and Barbara Stanwyck. For outfit number six, we have the perfect winter dress. This is a vintage dress from either the 1950s or early 60s. It's rather thick. It feels like it was almost made with a quilt padding in it that makes it so warm and perfect for the winter time. Also, there are certain elements of this garment that make me think it might have been made by hand, which is amazing. I paired this dress with a vintage fur hat, vintage costume jewelry, and a handbag that belonged to my mom, and I believe it was made in Indonesia.
to match the black fur hat I was wearing, I decided to switch out the cuffs and add black fur cuffs to the Naomi boots. Outfit number seven is inspired by adventure, exploring, and more specifically, it is inspired by the designer Ralph Lauren. I so like how this outfit turned out. The color combinations and the lines of the silhouette just worked perfectly. One fun thing about this outfit is that the coat I'm wearing is not actually a coat, but a dress. So I get double my money's worth by sometimes using it as a dress or as a coat. Everything else in this outfit is either vintage or thrifted, with the exception of the boots, gloves, glasses, and hat. To switch up footwear, I decided to pair this outfit with some classic leather knee-high boots. Outfit number eight is the most casual and practical outfit in this video. However, I adore it just as much as any other outfit. A thick black leather jacket and black corduroy trousers keep me nice and warm, and underneath my jacket is a toasty sweater with a rich blue Fair Isle print to match my blue beret. The sweater is from Talbot's, which is a company I highly recommend checking out if you are looking for classic knitwear. Their sweaters are always so soft, so well made, and if you catch the sales, they are pretty affordable as well. In keeping with the silver accents on the jacket, I paired this look with vintage silver chain accessories. My shoes, like the rest of the outfit, are extremely practical, and these just so happen to be named the Madison boot, so obviously when I saw them I just had to get them, it's like a rule or something, right? From the most casual outfit to the most formal outfit in this video, we have this beautiful emerald green velvet dress. With this dress, I brought out my most beautiful vintage accessories. These are costume jewelry pieces, however, they are very special to me not only for their beauty, but also the fact that they were gifts from my dearly departed grandmother. Obviously, this is not the most practical outfit for winter. However, I did add a nice thick fur coat that is also vintage from my grandmother. I know this is still not the most practical look even with the coat, however, this would only be worn for a formal event, and most formal events are inside, so it's not that much of a concern. And for shoes, I'm wearing these black satin pumps with little bows on the front. These are thrifted, so I have no idea when and where they are from. Our final outfit, outfit number 10, is another velvet dress. I did feel a little sad that I could not find any information as to where to find the first dress, 
So I brought out my other velvet dress. This is from Belle Epoque, and if I can find it, I will leave the link in the description box below. I know they have several color options, however, I decided upon this ruby red color. For accessories, I chose these matching ruby red gloves, silver sparkling costume jewelry, and a fluffy, warm, kind of cream-colored faux fur stole. Finally, for shoes, I chose these white pumps. They're not the best match for this outfit in my opinion, but I just have to make what I have work, and I think that is the key for any wardrobe. You mix, you match, you experiment, and you make what you have work the best that it can. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I would love to know what your favorite outfit was. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe and be sure to check out Vivea Shoes and if you find something that you like, be sure to use that discount code that I have in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching.